In supplement D, on slides six and seven, we're taking a look at a required number of observations. If we really want to have a good understanding, how many observations do we really need to take? The formula for this is n is equal to z s divided by a x, that full quantity squared. Well, what do these numbers mean? That z is a z score. Do you remember way back when, when we took a look, we took a look at confidence levels, et cetera, you should have done this in a stats class, you should have done it in um, Econ 2078 or 80. There's a variety of places where you're looking at z scores. That's what this is confidence levels and z scores. For this class, we'll be looking at confident levels, confidence levels of 95%, which equate to a z score of 1.96. And on your formula sheet, if you would like to use that, please put that down. S is standard deviation. We've looked at standard deviation, we've learned how to compute standard deviation because in reality, it will, won't be given to you, you will have to find it yourself. A is accuracy. What percentage of accuracy do you want this is? Within 10%, within 5%, within 15%, how accurate do you want this formula to be? And X is uh, the mean that we're looking at. So, we are taking a look at finding n. A job has been time studies for 20 observations. Okay, so we've already taken 20 observations and the mean actual time was 5.83 minutes and the standard deviation of the times is estimated to be 2.04 minutes. This one they're being nice enough to give it to you. How many total observations should be taken for a 95% confidence that the mean actual time has been determined within 10%? So looking at this, let's take a look at our formula. And I think I wrote that down wrong on the slide because it should be x bar, not n. So n is equal to zs over a x bar squared, our mean, okay? We know that z is a 95% confidence level is going to be 1.96. It says that our standard deviation is at 2.04. It told you that the uh, mean or the average of what's already been taken is 5.83, and that should be x bar. And we're taking a look at accuracy here. We said within 10%, which equates in a formula to 0 0.10. I call this plug and play. We're going to take the numbers we have here and plug them into our formula. n is equal to 1.96 times 2.04 divided by 0 0.10 times 5.83, and I want that whole quantity squared. So n is going to be equal to, if I do the math, 1.96 times 2.04, I should get 3.9984 and divide that by 0 0.10 times 5.83, which is 0.583. Again, all of this will be squared. So if I take what's inside the parentheses and, and divide 3.9984 divided by 0.583, divide my numerator by my denominator, I should get 6.8583. I want to square that number, which will be 47.0362.
uh, eight. Now, can you take a partial observation? No. So the answer here is not 47 observations because normally you would round down. When we're looking at the number of observations that need to be taken, in order to get a confidence level of 1.96, or Z, 95% confidence level, or Z of 1.96, and be within 10% accuracy, we need to take a little bit more than 47 observations. Well, N can never be a partial observation because you can't take a partial observation. So N has to be 48 observations. We've already taken 20, so we need 28 more observations. We can count the ones we've already taken to be able to get this information and get the mean and get the standard deviation, etc but we have to be able to take a full number, a whole number, and not a partial, not a decimal or a fraction of an observation. So in order to get our confidence level at 95% or a z-score of 1.96, in order to be within 10% accuracy, we need to have 48 total observations or 28 more. That ends supplement D problem on finding the number of uh, observations you need to take.